list while supplies last. I think you may have signed 75 or 100. <laughs> uh, there are some other show specials, a hot tuna toboggan. I don't know where you are, but from Ohio East. It was colder than a, you Yorma. know. Yep. Yorma. Um, <coughs> so the hot tuna toboggan. We have limited stock of these, so I don't even know. There, there might be 10 or 15 in stock. Also, Yorma's hardcover book. Price has been dropped on that. Yorma answers a lot of questions on these quarantine concerts. And we're just going to say, it's all in the book. It's in the book. I should never have to open my mouth again. And we have a limited amount of these wonderful letterpress Genesis lyrics. These are presentation copies that are done on a beautiful raglan paper. Turn it around, Yorma. People can't see it. Got it. All right. Honestly, I think there's only... Yeah, it's it's archival paper, acid-free, all, all that museum stuff. This is the real deal. They're really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the price has been severely slashed on those, but we uh, they also, uh, they say presentation copies, so these are, um, they're a wonderful gift, or maybe for you guys. Price to move, right, Vanessa? That's right. Also, Yorma held up the CBD. Yep. We have 500 milligram and 1,000 milligram are our show specials this evening. Everyone that buys uh, either a 500 milligram or a 1,000 milligram bomb will get a free tincture sample. Okay, so Yorma, the show is going to run as it has been with some questions, some music, and maybe a few more questions. Uh, we are running late, so if I have to cut a question or two, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, we'll... We'll do what we got to do, right? We're not? So can people hear me? Okay, I just got word that it's possible that we are streaming on the Relics stream only and possibly not on the Fur Peace Ranch. So there should be a link um, to the Relics magazine stream. Hopefully everybody can pop over there if you're not seeing us on ours. Uh, we apologize for that. Believe. Um, so, for everybody listening, I'm really disappointed if our, if our YouTube subscribers can't hear us right now, but... Um, <laughs> Someone probably tried to call me and say, hey, we can't hear you. Um, so we have something special that we're going to do tonight at the very, it'll be the very last song. And we mentioned it on the last stream. Yorma and John are going to do a version, uh, their version of the Woody Guthrie song, This Land is Your Land. We mentioned to everybody that we would love to have you all send us a short video on your smartphones of you singing the chorus. Along with us. Along with you. The chorus only. Some people have already sent submissions. They're not going to work. No, it's not how it works. And no instruments, please. So uh, they're going to be singing it in the key of C. That's we the key we do it in. We only want you on the chorus. And you would send your submissions, now pay attention, I'll also put this on the Hot Tuna Facebook page, to the email, thevanessalillian at gmail.com. That's T-H-E-V-A-N-E-S-S-A-L-I-L-L-I-A-N -S -S -L -L at gmail.com. We'll remind you again right before we're ready to do that. Indeed. So I think we're just going to get started. Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully, we'll work out whatever's not happening on our stream, and um, yeah. That's that. All right, everybody. Thanks. Okay, so um, yeah, before we jump in, uh, you know, with all this, uh, you know, with all the people passing and stuff like that, every now and then, uh, for better or worse, we get uh, we get to put a, uh, you know, a, f a face to the names and stuff. So. We heard from our friend Jimmy up in New York that one of his longtime brothers, uh, I'm going to make sure I get this right, yeah, Mark Remolino, uh, NY, NYC FD uh, inspector, member of the Raccoon Lodge, my buddies up there in Brooklyn, 
did pass away from this. So, you know, we've all lost somebody. And so uh, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and his buddies and all that, and to everybody else who's experienced loss in this time. Okay, thank you very much. So, I'm gonna kick this uh, tonight show off with, uh, uh, with this version that I do uh, of a Jelly Roll Morton song called Dying for Beer. Now, uh, my arrangement I learned from uh, this guy that mentored me, uh, Ian Buchanan, may he rest in peace. And interestingly enough, this is the guitar I learned to play the song on, so. Here it is. Now don't you leave me here Said don't you leave me here Well now, pretty baby, I said If you go, leave me a dime for beer Well now, I never have One woman at a time Always half six, seven, eight or nine. Well, don't you leave me here. Said, don't you leave me here. Well, now, pretty baby, I said, and if you can go, leave me a dime. You know that rooster crow I said his hen run round And she's crying if you want to taste my fricassee You got to run me down Well don't you leave me here Said don't you leave me Oh, well, now, pretty baby, I said, and if you can go, leave me a dime for beer. Well, don't you leave me here. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we are up on our side. I Holy th- moly. I know. I want to thank everyone, and sorry that we sounded a little panicked you know we run a that's right we run a lean mean fighting machine here and so when something doesn't work it's like you know sweating time but we're fixed and I want to thank everyone for their patience so Yorma while you're getting that guitar yes um I got a question for you okay having just remembered May 4th and the shootings at Kent State yeah what was it like to get 
this is kind of a dark question. What was it <laughs> like to get tear gassed on stage at the Rubber Bowl in Akron, Ohio? It was great. No, actually, uh, you know, it's sort of interesting when you think back at what was going on, oh, I don't know, three quarters of a lifetime ago um, with the things that were happening in our American society and, and the protests and whatnot that were going on. It's a bunch of stuff. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of violent stuff, obviously, you know, that's uh, certainly the Kent State thing is at uh, you know, the, the top of that mountain. But anyway, so, so shortly thereafter, the, uh, the airplane played the Rubber Bowl. And Paul Canner, who had no verbal boundaries whatsoever, we don't need to even need to consider Grace because we know she had no verbal boundaries, incited the crowd to riot, and, uh, and we got tear gas. So, so th you know, it's not really fun getting tear gas, but the, I guess the corollary to this story, many years down the road is, I was going at a, this sort of convention thing that I go to in Akron once a year, canceled this year, but that's another story, and I was staying in a student dorm at Kent State. And so I went in there, and the gal that was checking me in said, have you ever been here before? And I said, yes, a long time ago. And she said, has it changed much? And I said, it smells better. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. And it seems like a lifetime ago, because it was. Won't you come with me? We'll go run through the mountains oh, just in time to set the morning free. Well, our hearts are young and strong. You're moving like an angel. Never seem to age in my dream. Well, I never took my time. Took it all for granted. The gift of life is never what it seems. There's one like we did then, like spirits in the morning, never seemed to age in our dream. These precious moments fly like pages in the wind, flying to a place above the stars. Memory fades with grace, cast away like rust, and leave us wondering who and what we are. That morning shone like gold, thought I'd live forever. Living well was way beyond my means. We watched the dawn together, never seemed to age in my dream. This morning when I woke, that midnight spell was broken. Looked around with nothing left of me. World around us turns, watch the dawn together. We never seem to age in my dream. You never seem to age in my dream. You never seem to age in my dream. Thank you. I wrote that song for my lovely wife Vanessa there is lurking in the shadows.
I see her blood pressure is returning to normal. <laughs> All these glitches and stuff. You know, like when people people ask me to do stuff, you know, I'm out there doing gigs or whatever. And I say, I'll promise you anything. Call Vanessa, she'll make it happen. Are you proud of me for keeping the expletives away from I the microphone? I am so <laughs> proud of you, Vanessa. I'm really, you know, I, I got to say, I got to say. <laughs> it was a... It was a whole other Vanessa. It was a whole other Vanessa. I have to say, when I do let it fly, you know, Izzy and I spend a lot of time together, so when we're together, if we're in the car and I, you know, let it fly, I go, oh, I'm so sorry. She goes, why do you apologize? That's who you are. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, some years ago uh, the Donnie Wahlberg uh, our Mark Wahlberg movie, Daddy's Home, came out, and uh, we took his and a bunch of the kids to go. They were younger then. It was rated, rated PG-13. And uh, so I'm watching this show, and I realize it's just sort of like an elastic PG-13, like the thing with the fertility clinic and, uh, you, know, you know, collecting uh, Mark Wahlberg's manly semen and stuff. And I look at this, and I turn to her, and I go, are you okay with this, honey? And she goes, I've heard worse at home. <laughs> Will the river of time it marks our life Birth to death there is no rhyme Chance to meet along the way Will we go or will we stay Are no sound of tolling bells Task on earth is living well I've dreamt my grandma held my hand Felt a stranger in this land Her ancient voice cried out to me Have your choice, it's plain to see Time to move on down the line We're all here floating in a river of time All the time I'd long forgot Flowers there forget me not Saw a wave from friends of mine We're all here floating in a river of time Well it might be nice I could have said Speak to loved ones long since dead I still flow there on the shore I shan't see them anymore Not on this side but in dreams Dreams aren't always what they seem Time ends, I'll rest on land. While I slumber, they'll still stand. They're a part of that endless line. We're all here floating in the river of time. As I float through another day, there are no waves to rock my way. Water lifts my spirits high. In this moment, you and I feel the current flow so fine. We roll down that river of time. Thank you. I love that song. Good thing I wrote it anyway. Okay. What do we got for him now? Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be good. We always have other recorded things. Want to answer another question real quick? Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, this is from Lou. Because I from can't. From who? I can't, Lou, I okay. can't pronounce his last name. Lou, Lou, it could be a joke. Lou Alcinder, I don't, I don't know. That, that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, Ka. <laughs> what up, bro? Uh, so, said thanks so much for the live streams, keeping us all with such great music. Yorma, can you tell us a little bit about Steve Richmond Tablet? 
Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. So, so when I, f I first met Steve, the, the first weekend that I uh, was in Santa Clara, I was in 1962, and I went to a Hootenanny, a.k.a. Open Mic, at the Folk Theater on 1st Street, not far from the House of Pizza, which is another story altogether. Um, and in that moment, I met Janis Joplin, and I met Steve Talbot and a couple other folks from Berkeley. So uh, at, at that time, his name was Steve, and, and a lot of you have heard the tapes. Janice and Steve and I played, and, and this and that, and, and the rest is really ancient history. Well, anyway, Steve was a little bit older than me. Um, I was going to college at the time. And it's, it's tough to be an authentic blues man when you're going to a Jesuit university, but that's another story, that's another song altogether. But anyway, Steve was not only a really great blues man for real, he was also a guitar builder and he worked for the railroad. I mean, really, I mean, railroad, guitar, all that stuff. He, his voice is the baritone voice on the recording of um, 99 Year Blues on, uh, on burgers, I believe. So anyway, so uh, at some point, and, and Steve and I played together off and on for years. So at some point, Steve changed his name. Remember, Roger McGuinn was Jim McGuinn for a while until he changed his name to Roger. Roger, it was a Sabood thing or something like that. And Steve changed his name to Richmond. Anyway, all that being said, he was always Steve Talbot. Fantastic talent. It's one of these, you know, if there's any justice in this world, you wouldn't have to ask that question because he was just... Aside from being a great guy, I mean, he was just a really bona fide, um, a very, very cool artist, great guitar player, great singer. Anyhow, that's the story. Steve Richmond Talbot, may he rest in peace. How's that, Vanessa? Fantastic. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. So the other thing is that, like, Steve had this friend named Justin Pope, another player, who also passed away. And Justin... Justin worked in silver, and if you can see this, this pretty girl that's on the truss rod cover of this guitar was made by Justin Pope. So there's a lot of history in all this stuff. All right, so. So as a guitar player that normally, when I'm, when I'm playing acoustic guitar, uh, plays finger style, get all this stuff, it's like, oh my God, he's picked up a flat pick. Hey, it's just playing the guitar, and I'll be the first to admit that I'm not as facile with a flat pick as I was back in the day. At some point, I'll dig out uh, a song that I did that first night with, uh, with Steve Talbot and Janis Joplin, where I do Little Birdie really fast, and I'm picking a lot of notes. I can't do that anymore, but I can do this, so. <laughs> Oh, quick story. I'm going to do this song called Living Just For You. So I wrote this song on a Guild F50 that I just bought. Myron and I were talking about how sometimes you get a new axe or something like that and it invites you to write a song. I'm not sure it's an excuse to buy a new guitar every time you want to write a new song. But in any case, so I wrote this song, and it was towards the end of the airplane's uh, sojourn on this planet. We are staying on the, uh, on the top floor of this hotel on the west side of New York. I'm sure it's long gone. There's a swimming pool there, and uh, and Stephen Stills was staying at the place. So, I uh, I played it for Stephen, and uh, he actually gave me some some cool tips about arrangement. And at the same time, Bonnie Raitt stopped by, and we jammed a little bit. And aside from the fact that I love Bonnie and she's a fantastic artist, her dog ate one of my sneakers. Anyway, so <laughs> woof. I've waited all my lifetime for a moment like today. Our love is really real and really here to stay. Well, now I know what's happening. This starting all anew. I've been living lately just because of you. People on the side. 
sidewalks of the city passing by. Well, they don't know how high they fly. Now I know I found you, world all around, filled with signs of smiling, and the heavens to the ground. Take so long. Without you, that kind of living I just won't do. Well, there's been too much wasted time. Feeling blue in the morning when we rise. That sparkle in your eyes reminds me that I'm living just for you. Well, in the morning when we rise, that sparkle in your eyes reminds me that I'm living just for you. All righty then. Yeah, good. And let me see. Oh, yeah, it's good, 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 good. Let me call the show. Um, so many drummers, so little time. Uh, let's see. Just kidding, drummers. Just funning with you out there. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do uh, an old blues song, a Snooks Eaglin tune called Uncle Sam Blues, which was written during the Korean War. And uh, one of the guys that I've gotten to know through guitar playing and teaching and stuff like that, Mark Romeo, wrote a really great version of this with some lyrics for the, with, for the, uh, the COVID-19 blues. And... I was thinking about showcasing it, but I got overwhelmed. I didn't get time to learn the lyrics. Sorry. Put it up on YouTube. You probably already have it on YouTube. It's a great, uh, great version. This was a trifle more traditional. Let me get these guys on. Well, got my question there, baby. You know I'm headed off a wall. Question there, baby. You know I'm headed off a wall. Gonna 
do some fighting over there. Good Lord only knows what for. Well, Uncle Sam ain't no woman, babe. You know it sure can't take your man. Sam ain't a woman, you know it sure can't take your man. A 40,000 guy, sometime, doing something they quite don't quite understand. Gonna do some fighting Oh, then I can be sure Do some fighting, I said Oh, then I can be sure You know, if I want to kill somebody over there I sure won't have to break no kind of law Well, got my question there, baby. You know I'm headed off a wall. Question there, baby. You know I'm headed off a wall. Won't want to kill somebody for that. Thank you. Yikes. Well, let me quickly check the, the tuning on this thing here. Maybe to have a sip of my tea. Can you tune and talk at the same time? 
Uh, can I tune and talk at the same time? Probably. Let's give it a shot. It's like walking and chewing gum at the same time. Yeah, yeah, time. right. That's me. Uh, so this is a question about Rye Crudo. Ooh. Um, and you and John did a song that Rye Crudo um, co-wrote. Yes. Co-wrote. So the question is, is on the subject of Rye Cooter. Since you played the song last, last week, have you ever played with Rye? I love his version of Police Dog Blues and yours too. Okay, so yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> and it's a really convoluted answer. So in 1964, um, my ex-wife, Margareta, may she rest in peace, and I hopped in my... 57 Volvo, 444, and drove down to Los Angeles to visit my buddy Steve Mann and to see the birds play at the Troubadour, not the Troubadour, um, the Ciro's on Sunset Strip, but Ciro's. Yeah, because like, you know, the last time I'd seen David Crosby before that, he was like a folky like the rest of us, and all of a sudden he's like a big star. So anyway, yeah, he put me on the list. Okay, I'm on the list. So anyway, so, so we went to... A, we went down to L.A. and, and the, saw the show. It was fantastic, of course. And uh, I'm talk we're hanging out with Steve a little bit. I think went over to see Steve play at the Troubadour. And, uh, and he goes, uh, there's, there's this guy you really got to meet. And I said, who? And he said, well, his name is Rye Cooter. Now, you know, I knew that, that Rye had played in The Rising Suns with Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal, The Rising Suns. But I really didn't, you know, I didn't know much about anything back then. So anyway, so I said, great. So, the three of us hop in the car, and we go, I, I, you know, I'd be willing, I'd bet the farm that Rye doesn't remember this at all, but I do. And so, we go over to his apartment. It's like, I don't know, it's like 1, 2 in the morning or something like that. Steve wakes him up. He actually lets us in. We can't make any noise because we're in a, in a thin-walled apartment in L.A., and so I remember we played a little bit of guitar together. Sad to say, I can't remember what we did. But I played an unplugged um, Fender 12 string. Uh, so that's my memory of that. So, Rye, if I got some trouble with your neighbors, I'm really sorry. And, uh, and, and that's my Rye Cooter story. We have met at gigs and stuff like that from time to time. But sad to say, I've never actually seriously played with him. And I would like to sometime. He's really good. So we have, with us trying to stream our concert and the connection with Relics, yes. the sync is off a little bit. So we're going to fix this while we're playing. There shouldn't be any disruption. There might be a disruption to the other guys, but we should be good. So oh again, if you just close your eyes sonically, you wouldn't know that the sync <laughs> is off. So in other words, I could go, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, thanks. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. So somewhere out there, I, I like the sound of Radio Land better than YouTube Land or Streaming Land. Somewhere out there in Radio Land, is a friend of mine named Paul Carp. Now, Paul has been busting my balls for years. Why don't you play Song for the High Mountain? Why don't you play Song for the High Mountain? He just won't give it a rest. Anyway, so, so I've been working on it, Paul. And, uh, and sometime, you know, speaking of that song, that's on the Yorma album. And I've been listening to that record recently because I've been sort of relearning stuff that I haven't done in a really long time. That record's produced by a great record producer named David Kahn, and I need to, if, if David or any of his friends is listening, man, you did a fantastic job on that record because that was done when I was, I, was, I was bandless for that moment and played except for a little bit of the keyboard stuff that, that you, David, did. Uh, the deal is here. No, I need you, darling, though you think I lie. If you don't believe I love you, look into my eyes. 
Every day you hurt me, and I don't know why. Though the night will turn into the morning. Say you're walking on a road that don't lead anywhere. Don't care. Got to be a place somewhere. Make your life worthwhile. If you live, you'll find yourself in the morning. I don't know just what to say. Trying to find a way in a world that's governed by your sorrow. I don't know just what to do. Feeling nearly through this time round the world that I'm trying to. Know I need you, darling, here before I die. If I fail on this time round. Reaching for the sky, if you live, you can live in the morning. Cool. All right, so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's time for us to, for, for Myron to put a different hat on, to leave the, the command post up there, which he's sort of sharing with Andy and my daughter that's, that's, that's on the movable camera now, et cetera, et cetera. And we got a, some music and a couple stories about the gear, of course. It's always good to talk about gear. Everybody, in case anybody was wondering what live is like. <laughs> yeah. What is live like, Myron? In the moment. Okay, it's a death-defying ad. We are living in the moment. Oh, it's wonderful. It's certainly a thrill for me, man. Saturday night. Can't wait every week. It's a hell of a pleasure, man. So it's yeah. <coughs> so I guess uh yeah, I guess little little Richard just passed away. What a good run. Maybe so. Uh, I was uh, I was talking to Vanessa earlier. You know, of course, guys of my generation, uh, little Richard was really an important uh, artist and quite a character. In any case, so in the early '90s, when I was touring behind Blue Country Heart and staying at the Continental Hyatt House, A.K.A. the Riot House, I believe uh, your Nashville. friends Led Zeppelin. And there's an Nashville. episode about them where. Uh, one of the guys stands on the balcony and screams, I am a golden god. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the golden god days. Anyway, so, but this is not the golden god era. This is the early 2000s. So it's me, Barry Mitterhoff, um, Harvey the Bird, may he rest in peace, our tour manager, and Sally Van Meter, great dobro player, Paul Hammer banjo player, guitar player um, out of Colorado. So anyway, so, but we get in the, Sally gets in the elevator and there's little Richard, and he gives her an autographed Bible. I was say an yeah, autograph, right? autograph Bible. <laughs> okay, I so think she gave him a Nashville one time. All right, man. So we'll tell him about this this junk here before I we think go. So. Yeah, okay. So so I got to give a before we get to the amp because that's really I got to give a big shout out to my uh, buddy Dave Spector out there in Chicago. Um, Dave turned me on to these uh, these these. Jazz Masters and Myron put uh, some Lindy Fralin pickups and RS caps and pots in it. It's a really good guitar for under a thousand dollars. It's an awesome guitar. Now, 
the 1968 Fender Deluxe. First of all, this is the amp that, that, that I played um, spare change on uh, for the Jefferson Airplane album after Bathing at Bachelors. There it is, right there. It's a Hall of Famer. It's a Hall of Famer. Now, if you can see, there, there's a little sort of a nub there. You might say, well, how could you, how could you drill a hole in, in a vintage amp like that? First of all, this amp is not vintage. It's just old. I bought it new. And secondly, that hole is where Owsley Stanley, yes, the bear himself, uh, in addition to his other geniuses, was an electronic genius, put the, installed the first master volume. This, this amp had, was modded with a master volume. Now, Myron hated when I put it back to normal, but the it's thing was that uh, Owsley got sidetracked after he did. He never really perfected it, and it kind of sounded like a swarm of bees. <laughs> but it certainly was the first master volume that I'd ever... Uh, it's definitely a better amp now. That's it. It is. It's good stuff. All right. Tell me... Well, I was talking to my mom about doing some songs with Yorm this weekend, and she requested that I do one of the songs that I wrote. So I threw it out to Yorm. He liked it. So we're going to do a song I pinned called I Am a Traveling Man. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. And got lots of family out there to say hi to them all. And happy Mother's Day to you, too, Yorm. Yep. You're I've been called a mother before. You're the biggest mother I know. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Two, three, four. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Thanks, Myron. Hey, wait, Myron. I, I forgot to use the whammy bar. We got to do it again.
it's time for Mr. John Hurlbut. How are you, Mr. John? Grateful. Grateful, Yorma. As am I. Grateful and happy. Happy to be here. You're sounding swell tonight. So you don't like Streamland, huh? Radio Land. Hello, Radio Land. I guess stream. I don't know. Uh, you it's know. almost like Dreamland, you see. Dreamland. Like yeah. Well, hello, uh, Radio Land, Streamland, New York City, New York, New Jersey. I hope everybody's doing okay. We're thinking of you. Hoping for the best. And what, what, what delight do you have in store for us tonight? I think you'll know it. I, think you'll I know hope it. I know it because we're going to play it together. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was a young boy Evening sun went down I'd sit back by those railroad tracks And I'd listen for that sound Of that Kansas City Southern Man, that's a lonesome sound Well, I'd sit and watch those trains roll by and I'd wish that I was outward bound. I dream about big cities, pleasures I could keep. Around about 12.30 Through visions of my sleep I'd hear that Kansas City Southern Man, that's a lonesome sound Well, I'd sit and watch those Trains roll by and I'd wish that I was outward bound.
I've been in a couple of places I know a couple of things Whenever I think back in time My memory thoughts ring With that Kansas City Southern Man, that's a lonesome sound Sit and watch those trains roll by and I'd wish that I was outward bound. Outward bound. Outward bound. Outward Thank you. Thank you. Nice, John. Nice. Thank you. I love that song. I love it, too. Boy. I love the way you play it. Well, that's, you know, that's why I'm playing with it. You know, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't give the background source material for that tune. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, it's a Gene Clark song. Well, yes, it is. And uh, he, he wrote it, and it is on the uh, Dillard and Clark record on A&M Records. Uh, and now and you're talking uh, Dillard and Clark. Yes, the Adventures, the the adventures of Dillard and Clark. Yes. Yeah. And when you do hear that song, he did it a little more country style, but it fit into that realm yeah. of a nice I, I just theme. thought it's, it's worth mentioning because that whole like gaggle of guys yeah. was really responsible for the direction of... Oh, he was of a great songwriter, too. Modern country music mm -hmm, for sure good modern for country sure. music anyway well, let's do rock on my brother Mama takes that away from me I can't wear it anymore Getting dark to dark to see I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door Knocking on heaven's door Knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Just like so many times before
Mama, take these guns and bury them in the ground. I can't shoot them anymore. Seeing this long dark cloud coming round. I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. Just like so many times before. I'ma wipe this blood from my face. I can't see through it no more. Got a long dark feeling and it's hard to trace. And I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. Just like so many times before.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yorma. Cool. It's been a blast. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, John. Thank you, Yorma. If we weren't keeping our distance, I would have given you a hug. That was awesome, man. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so, yeah. That was fantastic. So, Yorma, you know how I feel about you. I love you madly. John? That was awesome. You just lowered my blood pressure. Thank you so much. But that was so beautiful. Really, you are a rock star. Yeah, man. One more quick question, Yorma. We were only going to do the three. But, ah, go ahead. Um, everybody was so patient with the sinking and everything. God and again, it. thank you so much for sticking with us on that. It won't happen again next it might happen again, but hey. No, it's not going to happen again. Hey, my blood pressure is down to 101 over 64. Let's not <laughs> screw it up. Um, somebody Facebook messaged me. Um, yes. Wanted in the middle of this song, because I'm manning the computer in the live chat over here, and they wanted to know, it was Tom DeBose, wanted to know if you ever jammed with Dylan. With? Bob Dylan. No. Don't you have a Bob Dylan no. story? I was trying to like. Uh, you know. Segue. I've actually only met Bob Dylan twice. Once was at Gertie's Folk City in 1960. Um, oh no, he doesn't remember this. And uh, the second time was, um, I guess it was the first time I met Larry Campbell. Was it was that Phil and I was I was briefly one of Phil Lesh's friends on the Phil and Friends tour that they did. But Dylan, when Larry and uh, Charlie Sexton were in the band, that's, uh, Dylan always has a great band in any case. So, uh, yeah, so I got to play Highway 61 with him and, and this and that. And, and uh, th the show was over, and I was going back to... My vehicle, I don't remember if we had a bus back then or not. In any case, and this, this large security person came up to me and said, dwarfed me in his shadow. And as I cowered beneath this massive individual, he said, Mr. Kalkinen? And I said, yes. And he said, Mr. Dillon would like to say hello to you. And I said, wow. And so this is sort of, this is better, it's sort of a tactile thing, but... But uh, so imagine, imagine that I, I Yorma, am now invisible, and I am Bob Dylan, and he, and, and he came up to me, and he went, "Hey, Yorma, long time," and turned and walked away. So that's that's my Dylan experience. What happened at Gertie's? That's what I was hoping you. Well, <laughs> the way I remember it is that. Is that I lent him five bucks for beer, and um, I was thinking about saying something to him, but I was advised that somebody told me, "Don't. He doesn't have much of a sense of humor." <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Love, love your stuff. Going, going, blonde on blonde, blonde. Soundtrack of my life, buddy. Okay. Okay. So.
gonna move out on the highway Make this moment last It closes with the future Leaving out the past Rolling along and doing fine Said, what do you think I see? That bony hand come a back And then child said, buddy, come go with me Well, the engine just ain't strong enough Baby, get you around the turn Middle of a field lawn, wash your body burn. Don't try to tell me just who I am, baby. You don't know yourself. Spend half your time running out on the street with your mind home on a shelf. Looking at me with your eyes full of fire Rather be seeing me dead Lying on the floor with a hole in my face And a ten gauge shotgun at my head Leave me here, but I won't tell things unknown about you and know so well. Will you smile at me? Try to set me free. Yeah. Keep me wondering what the future may be. Is it rolling on? Try to tell me just who I am, baby. You don't know yourself. Spend half your time running out on the street with your mind home on a shelf. Looking at me with your eyes full of fire. Rather be seeing me dead. Lying on the floor with a hole in my face and a 10 gauge shotgun. Thanks, folks. Yep, that's rock and roll, all right. <laughs> well, I'm going to pick another tune, and then we're going to see if we can architect this uh, uh, global sing-along. I'll do this little Blind Blake song. which is also, I learned on this guitar. Man, you know, I can't believe I was able to hold on to this beauty all these years, but love you, baby.
Well, I met a gal in a cabaret. Pretty poppy lord going my way, madam. Know what it's all about. Well, bring me home, just throw me out. Broke my nose, split my head, don't let me in. They got you here again. Whip through the kitchen, baby, out to the door, hit me with a chair. Head got so never happen no more. Happen no more. Well, I live in Chicago, winter and fall cars. Me to wear my overalls. And I got broke, it was my fault. Said used to eat pork chops and leave in the saw. Met a gal, a big bean coat, fancy car. Fought a foot boat, pulled a gun and she took my dough. Didn't get mad and blown, I didn't get saw. Well, never happened no more. Happened no more. Well, I met a gal in a cabaret, yeah. Pretty poppin' on going my way, madden. Know what it's all about. Now bring me home, just throw me out. Broke my nose, split my head, don't let me in. I catch you here again. Whip through the kitchen, out through the door, hit me with a chair. Head got so well. Okay, well, to, to bring this uh, little session in for a landing, so our plan here, Vanessa's, I, I put it on my website, Vanessa's talked about it, we're talking to all you guys. If we can make this work, it would really be slick. So, we're going to do it in C. And, uh, and we would like you to sing on the chorus. John? Yes. Yes. I'm sure everybody knows the song, but but how does the chorus go? The chorus goes, This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. So let me just... I don't want to interrupt you, but I want to re oh, please reiterate. Feel free to interrupt us. Whatever smartphone you have, iPhone, Android, so you're obviously going to put it on, you know, yourselves, singing the chorus only. What part of the song, John? The chorus. Only. And yes. what key are we doing uh, it in, John? C. And no scat singing the chorus. Either. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah, don't keep want anyone playing guitar. The submissions that you sent me earlier today will not work. Thanks very work. much, but that's yep. not what we're looking for. They won't for. work because we don't know that the tempo was correct and the keys were not the way. Yeah, the, the plan is that even it. though we're not actually together, we're together. Right. And that's so the deal. what's going to happen? If, the, if this is done right and if you guys send me the clip of yourselves, you could even do just one chorus. 
We're going to pull these. Oh, yeah, we can fly it in anywhere. Yeah. So we're going to have Jormin Jack. Or I'm sorry. Oh, I called you Jack, John. Nice. Jormin I've been John. called worse. <laughs> That's a fru- fruity and slip. <laughs> Jormin John singing. And then we're going to pull in these videos. A lot of people have been doing it. We have to get it just right. So the submissions are to be sent to the Vanessa Lillian at gmail.com. T H E V A N E S S A L I L L I A N at gmail.com. Don't send it to Vanessa at Fur Peace. Don't send it to my Earthling address and don't Facebook Messenger. I'm just going to delete And don't delete, send it delete, to me. And don't send it to Yorma. Hopefully, it's running across the screen. I'll be happy to put it up on the live chat. I don't know how many of these we're going to be able to do, but if we do it right, it could be very cool. Now, mm-hmm. this isn't something that you're going to see tomorrow morning on Facebook. We're actually going <laughs> to do a little production of this. So first and foremost, thank you all for wanting to be a part of this little experiment. Absolutely. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank Thank you, you. Yorma. Thank you, Myron, Andy, Izzy. Izzy. I'll thank myself for keeping my composure tonight. Um, We'll be back again next week, yes? Yes. With no glitches, right? That's right. Excellent. Are we, are we, are we going to just wrap? We're going to wrap after this? So maybe we we'll are going to wrap after so this. So maybe we'll just quickly thank everybody. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Myron, of course. John, of course. Didn't thank I just say thank you, John? Yes. Thank you, Did Myron. you say thank, thank you, you, Izzy? Thank I Yes, she did. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you, Yorma. He but never uh, listens thank you. to me. <laughs> you, can't have, <laughs> you know, you can't have too much thanks. All right, though. all right. Thanks is good. Jeez. Thanks is good. So also, also we, we do we actually we do have a uh, a guest from uh, Pomeroy tonight. We have Maureen here. She bailed. Maureen Burns, the tea lady. So you know, are the Yorma Kalkinen's rhythm tonic? Maureen, the tea lady. Look it up. Check purple it out. Purple sage tea. Purple sage tea. Right. We oh. might be bringing purple, back not purple. John's Ross Hurl's tea. Blessings tea. Vanessa's Rock and Girl Gray. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. But thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, everybody <laughs> out there in Radio Streamland. <laughs> We're going to have some fun with this. Now, I will say that uh, please think about joining our YouTube channel and subscribing because oh, the yeah. more people that subscribe, the better our numbers are, the better they treat us. Just last week, my sister subscribed out in San what? Diego. Yes. First of all, it's free. All you got to do is push a button. I had to explain it to her. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, no, uh, you know. All right. Now that you got me texting, I'm a. All right. So, you know, also out there in Radio Streamland, remember, you could sing on all the choruses and then pick your best one to send in. That That's way true. You, you try a few. And, and uh, when we wrap it up, we're going to do an a cappella version of it. So be ready for that now. A cappella. Man, yes. you know some big words, don't you? Yes, that's right. That's right. Put down your sitar. We're going to just a cappella. Okay, you're okay. All right. As I was walking that ribbon of a highway, I saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Islands from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me. I've roamed and rambled, and I followed my footsteps through the sparkling sands of your diamond desert. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. 
From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. When the sun comes shining and I was strolling and the wheat fields waving and the dust clouds rolling and all around me I heard a chanting this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Islands from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land As I was walking, I saw a signpost, and on the sign it said no trespassing, and on the other side it said nothing. That side was meant for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Islands. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Ain't nobody living that's gonna stop me from walking that freedom highway. Ain't nobody living that's gonna turn me back. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Acapella now. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. You all sounded really good. You all sounded really good. I can't wait to hear the mix. Me thank too. you all so much. Stay healthy. Yep. And thank you, Yorm and Vanessa, for having this great party on Saturday Our night. Our pleasure, John. And thanks for inviting me. Yeah. See you all next week. Thanks, everyone. Make sure you practice your social distancing. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Be kind. And send me your chorus-only submission. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Well done, team.